Tonight's top stories from the unit website include EU common agricultural policy reform, Britain likely to sign back up to a reformed European arrest warrant, Britain, France face EU action over high Eurostar charges, EU's 1 billion euro aid to Egypt branded ineffective, plus French EU wariness complicates life for Francois Hollande. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. In Europe, more than 45% of land area is under agriculture, and it is estimated that more than half of European species use farmland habitats. The EU common agricultural policy, alongside other economic and technological drivers, has led to profound changes in farm management practices. Land use change driven by the CAP, intensification and abandonment of traditional low-intensity agriculture has had negative effects on farmland biodiversity. This article considers the reforms being proposed. Britain is likely to sign back up to the controversial European arrest warrant as long as it is reformed to stop citizens being extradited for minor crimes, Whitehall sources said last night. The coalition is expected to announce its decision shortly after months of wrangling between the Tories and Liberal Democrats over whether to exit a package of around 130 European policing powers. The deal has not yet been signed off by the party leaders, but it is expected to say Britain will take back the policing powers when given the chance of a block opt-out by Brussels in May next year. The UK would then choose to sign back up to about one-third of them in the national interest, including a reformed European arrest warrant. The move may not be enough to satisfy the most Eurosceptic Tories who have been pushing for all 130 powers to be repatriated permanently to give Britain back control over its crime and justice system. The European Commission has given France and Britain two months to respond to a request to lower charges for passenger and freight trains to use the Channel Tunnel or face possible court action, it said on Thursday. The Commission said the illegally high-track access charges result in higher ticket prices for passengers of the high-speed Eurostar service linking London with Paris and Brussels. Access charges for passenger services and freight are much higher than they need to be, an EU official said, saying usage of the tunnel was less than it should be because of the cost. Tunnel operator Eurotunnel charges a reservation fee of €4,320, one way for Eurostar trains, and £16.60 per passenger. EU officials said the charges should be roughly half that amount, and the excess meant only 43% of the tunnel's capacity is being used. A billion euros of EU aid channelled to Egypt before and after the January 2011 uprising that ended Hosni Mubarak's reign failed to improve human rights and governance or reduce corruption, auditors said on Tuesday. European Union support for improved governance in Egypt overall was well-intentioned but ineffective, said a highly critical report by the European Court auditors. The criticism comes after pledges by the European Commission since the Arab Spring protests to tie aid to improvements in democratic governance and human rights. But, despite the introduction of the EU's so-called More for More policy on aid, the report highlights inadequacies overseeing funding since Mubarak's ouster. The softly, softly approach has not worked and the time has come for a more focused approach which will produce meaningful results and guarantee better value for European taxpayers' money, said Carol Prinkston, the ECA member responsible for the report. A feeling in France that the European Union no longer works in its interest is fueling tensions between Paris and Brussels and adding pressure on President Francois Hollande to be more assertive in Europe. 
Successive euro-wide polls show that disenchantment with the EU is rising fastest in France. A founder member whose battle to reform its ailing economy has now become the top preoccupation of the 27-nation bloc. Sources of the malaise are many, from the rise of post-unification Germany as a political force in Europe, to the feeling that the EU institutions have mishandled the economic crisis and neglected core concerns such as unemployment. Anti-EU groups such as the National Front have latched onto the public mood of frustration to secure opinion poll gains, the mainstream French left and right struggling to define their stances on Europe before early 2014 European Parliament elections, where both fear heavy losses to the populist parties. Today in our video library, Protesters in the Latvian capital of Riga on Thursday burned the flag of the European Union to protest the country joining the Eurozone Currency Union. The protests come a day after the European Parliament voted to back at the entry of Latvia, endorsing committee regulations that the Baltic country becomes the bloc's 18th member as of January 2014. The demonstrators claim that the government is dragging Latvia into the euro against the will of the population and at the risk of the country's economy. Well, I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below.